I had an idea from an inspiration I got while browsing Twitter. So that idea is the title of this video. Let's talk about Surface Watch. What's going on everybody, Quaker here, back with uh, another video. You can tell I'm back in my room. There's new paint on the walls. It's not super, super blue anymore. I'm in a new chair. It's pretty cool. And I want to talk about Surface Watch. Um, back, way back when, we had the Microsoft Band 1, 2, and I believe 3, or is it just 1 and 2? We had the Microsoft Band. It was Microsoft's four-way, foiray, into the whole watch ecosystem, right, of having a smartwatch. But it was more of a workout watch with a bunch of sensors on it. That was way back when Surface was very, very, very early, you know, in times. And it it just was something that I don't know if many people would have bought unless you were just a fan of Microsoft. It didn't do too well at all. It, it didn't last very long. It lasted two iterations. And those rumors of a third Surface band or Microsoft band coming out. But recently I saw a a just some concept art from a bunch of people and you're going to see that right now of what they think Microsoft should do with their current times now where Surface is doing pretty well I got to say you know we have a bunch of Surface devices from like laptops to full desktops you know at least an all in one the Surface Studio uh we have the Surface Hub 2S uh, we have a bunch of little, like, we have a bunch of things. We have a phone now, right? Could you believe that years ago would, that we would have a film phone? During those times when Surface Watch, or rather, I'm going to say it a lot, Surface Watch, during those times when Microsoft Band 1 and 2 were out, we had Windows Phone and Windows Mobile. They didn't do too well either, and then they also died out too. But I had an idea, and it was kind of an inspirational idea, uh, talking about the a potential Surface Watch. Assuming... If they would ever make one, which I don't think they would. I don't think they're in that kind of market right now. They don't really care about that. But my idea of a service watch is an enterprise watch, right? For a person who works in an office all the time, right? And they don't really need to, they don't really get up much, but they need that complex that that balance of style as well as functionality. And so what I wrote here, I said talking like Panos Panay, how will we craft the perfect surface watch? We of course would have to use Microsoft's current design language. We would also need to tie it to their main philosophy of flow and productivity. We'd also need to have it have the usual colors and that surfaces come in normally. That's like burgundy and so on. Throw in some health features, make it work seamless like the Duo, like AirPods do. And I have the AirPods Pro and original AirPods. It would need to be that watch that is the intermediary step between on the go and beginning to get in your flow. Now, pause right there, hard break right there. Get in your flow. Now, if you know of when the Surface Neo was talked about and when the Surface Duo was talked about, you know, in October last year, Panos Panay said a lot about keeping yourself in your flow, right? You don't want, you have two screens to keep yourself centered in what you're doing. Whatever activity you're doing, you it keeps you in your flow. You're not jumping between apps and things like that like you have to do on this phone here. Keeping you in your flow. That's the idea of flow. Keeping you focused on the task at hand and not getting distracted, having to jump out and then you lose track of what you're doing. So with that in mind, let's imagine an outward appearance. So with that, I want to let you guys kind of like close your eyes and just listen, even though the text is coming across the screen. This watch would have to be a watch not for the fitness person necessarily but for the everyday worker mostly office worker that person that sits all day and has to attend or host you know has to attend meetings or host this worker probably doesn't get many steps in all day due to all the sitting so this watch could have to remind that person to get up and at least stretch the apple watch makes in the samsung watch that i'm wearing here they it makes you breathe and stretch and do most random things when you, you probably are in your office even though it's in your calendar so leading off from that so it would have to remind you to do all that and at least stretch this watch would have to know when you aren't busy so it can tell you how to reach your goal so based on the calendar set meetings it could just know it has to have interchangeable bands so that when you're in an office or a professional setting you can change bands maybe to a leather one. 
And when your work day is over, you can go with your more breathable, sporty one, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing just a sporty band from the Watch Active 2. It can't look too flashy, It can't, but it shouldn't look dull and boring. This watch has to be kind of stealthy. And with the innards of the software, this watch has to do the usual smartwatch stuff like take calls, heart rate, text messages, mobile payments, music, timers, and more. It has to be customizable so that each company can personalize it to fit their color scheme and what's important to them. But mainly, it has to feel good, look good to wear, and have very long battery life. And that, this is the Surface Watch. The Surface Watch. What I said there with the calendar stuff is a problem that I think all watches have, and it's because Apple doesn't really have much enterprise presence for, like, especially their watch. You know, they're trying to get more into enterprise for everything, but for watches, it's mainly for just like, hey, you want a watch, you get a watch. So I don't expect really any enterprise to really, like, get a deal, brand deal, and work with Microsoft to get watches for everyone, but it'd be cool, right? The next gen, next generation company, they use Outlook, they use Microsoft 365, you know, they use OneNote, they have the watches, they're giving uh, Surface Duos and Neos to people to do their IT tasks or just have small devices to do things on the go. And that watch, this this kind of watch would have the tie-in like that, right? The idea is this enterprise smartwatch, which does not exist, right? doesn't exist, disclaimer. Once you type in your meetings, I would love for when it pulls your meetings in, it knows that, hey, I have a meeting at 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So I'm not going to buzz you or remind you unless it's you set it as priority or urgent on your calendar that you should stretch or do something else like call a family member. That would be legit. That would be cool. And then just like how Apple has it, where if you write urgent before your message, it will come through and show you a notification. Um I would love for that Surface Watch to do something like that so people can get around, you know, the whole calendar stuff if you're a busy person. You know, it has to look nice. I would love it to look like the colors of, say, the Surface Laptop where it has a bunch of colors for it, burgundy, you know, silver, things like that. I would love it to come out, come with those kind of things. It doesn't need to have the material of Alcantara, right, because that would be weird. But the, but the colors should match Microsoft's portfolio with those colors that they have. And same for the Surface Duo. The colors, like I said before, should match Microsoft's portfolio of their computers and devices where they really do all have a general color scheme. They all have four or so colors that everything's in. So yeah, that's my idea of Surface Watch. Now, throughout this video, you probably saw a bunch of just random images of people's concepts and things I just saw on the web about something like a Surface Watch. There's no real Surface Watch out there. I'll say that again. But... I'm creating one. I'm creating one on AutoCAD. And I don't know when it'll be done, but I want to show you guys when it's over. Um, when I'm when it's completely done. It won't be this video, but it'll be a future video where I just talk about my concept and what I think about it. So stay tuned for that. And while you stay tuned for that, take care, everybody. Hope you guys have an enjoying day and uh, stay safe out there.